Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Lesson Aid and today we're going to look at shader nets but first if you are new to my channel and if you're watching this video on YouTube please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification so you don't miss any new uploads and also if you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think about this video in the comments section below and without further ado Let's get started. Alright guys, so I've got five questions here. And I'm going to answer these questions and give you an explanation to why I have chosen those answers. Let's get started with number one. Okay, with number one, basically what we're trying to find out here is that we can see a shape on the left hand side um, with certain sides that are shaded. Basically, what we have to do is um, we have to find which of these um, shapes that are shown is the right shape. So basically, this um, larger shape here will make one of these shapes um, with the set with the right sides that are shaded. So we we'll basically have to find which are the right sides that are shaded and which is the right shape. Okay, but number one. We can see that the larger square um, sides, both of the larger square sides actually, are not shaded. It's only the opposite sides that are actually shaded. Uh, so as a result, we're going to eliminate B because it's the larger square side. It's also the shaded. And we're going to eliminate D because none of the sides are shaded there. And we're also going to eliminate A because, um, as I said, um, it's the opposite sides that are sh shaded, not the adjacent ones like these sides are close together whereas these are opposite so like they're parallel not perpendicular like here shown like shown here so we're left with c so c is going to be the answer okay guys so number two all right with number two if you guys are feeling confident enough you guys could pause this video right now and you guys could answer it and play it um as soon as you guys are ready and know which is the right option but I'm just going to carry on now. So play this video again when you guys are ready. Okay. All right. So, okay. With this, we can see is this L shape and the top of the L shape. The top square and this L shape are the ones that are shaded. None of the other sides are actually shaded. So some of you might here might think it's A because um, you can see the top and the L shape that's shaded. But if you see here, um, the side the side of the shape is also shaded, whereas the side here is not shaded. So we're obviously going to eliminate A. And we're going to eliminate C, because if you see in C, um, the side is also shaded on C. Um, whereas here, as I said before, it's not shaded. So we are going to eliminate C again. And D, if you see in D, um the top um side the top square actually is also shaded the top square is shaded um as it is right here but there's this extra um side that's shaded that's not shown here this side is basically that side but it's not sh um shaded in the actual shape whereas it's shaded on d so we're obviously going to eliminate d so we're left with b um some of you might wondering how b is right you might you might not be able to see this side, but since all the others have a common mistake in them and have a definite and like clear mistake, and this is the only one that's actually right, you might not be able to see the other side because it's on the other um other side of the shape. But at least you can see one of the right sides. So B is the right answer. Um, and also the remaining options they have like a common mistake in them. For example, this one is on the um side is shaded same with this one and on d um, an extra side is shaded whereas it's not in the actual shape um, so b is the only one that's um, shaded properly okay number three just like last question guys so if you guys are confident enough um this is a very easy question so if all of you want to pause the video now and just wait uh, pause the video and then work it out yourself and then play the video again once you guys have worked it out. Okay, I'm going to give you like two seconds. Okay, let's get started. With this one, 
It's very simple. You guys can see it. it all the triangles are shaded. And clearly we can see that A, one, only one side of the triangle is shaded. B, none of the sides of the triangle is shaded. And C, only one side of the triangle is shaded. In D, we can see all the sides of the triangle shaded. So it's obviously going to be D. That was a simple one, guys. Um, I bet you guys all got it right. I know if you probably got it wrong. And we're going on to number four now. As just like number two and three, um, you guys can post post the video and look at it yourself. And come back when you guys are ready. I'll give you guys um, like two seconds to do it. Okay, right. So I bet I guess you guys have got your answers ready. Now we're gonna do them. All right. We can see on this um, shape. Now it's only the larger rectangles that are shaded. None of the smaller rectangular sides are not shaded. They're all blank. So basically we're going to eliminate um, any of the options. Um, that's like these, these sides shaded or this or these sides shaded. So we're going to eliminate C because that's the smaller rectangular sides shaded. Whereas we actually need the larger rectangular ones shaded not the smaller rectangular ones. And we're also going to eliminate D because it has one of the smaller rectangular sides shaded, even though it's meant to be blank. And we're also going to eliminate B for the same reason that the one of the smaller rectangular sides shaded. The only answer we're left with is A, so A must be the right answer. And also, A doesn't have any of the smaller rectangular sides shaded, it only has the larger rectangular sides shaded. I hope you guys got that one right. So we're going on to number five now. Right, with number five, we can see that one side of this um, trapezium kind of 3D shape, the one side of it is shaded, and the top of this trapezium is also, sh also shaded, and the side of the trapezium is also shaded. So the top and the side is shaded, one side of the trapezium is um, shaded, so we can eliminate anything that is now basically any of these um, shaded, even though it's meant to be shaded. We're going to eliminate a because as we said here the top and the sides must be shaded whereas we can see that the top and the sides are not shaded and we're going to eliminate b because even though we can see actually one of the trapezium sides is shaded but however one of the one of the top side is not shaded and but the side um well this side is shaded right here okay number d we're also going to eliminate number D because none of the other sides, so the sides are not shaded right here, even though they're meant to be, so we're going to eliminate D. We're only left with C, and C is right because you can see the top shaded, you can see one of the tra um, trapezium shaded, and we can see one of the sides shaded. So the answer is C. Okay, guys, so this was a short video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, as I said before, give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys got any improvements or any suggestions for me, um, write it down in the comment section below. And I will take them into consideration and I will hopefully um, put them into practice in the next video. Until then, I'll see you guys in my next video.